straight out of the newsroom, ladies and gentlemen, Rel has a brand new subwoofer released today. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, today. They took one of their most popular subwoofers and made it brand new. Today, we are talking about the T9X, and we're going to check it out right after the jump. And I am back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for showing up. And here we are today talking about Rel's new subwoofer. It just released today. And we're going about to get into the unboxing and overview of the specs and what it comes with and all that kind of stuff. This is not a review video. I know a lot of people say, no, well, an overview video is a review video. No, 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 no. It totally is not. Now, before we begin, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting my journey here on YouTube and helping me out when, you know, yeah, I got to shell out all this money for silly stuff to review. So thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in anything like, you know, asking me like a very detailed question that's going to take a few days to answer, definitely check out the link down in the description. And of course, if you're looking for Dolby Atmos demos, IMAX enhanced demos, and soon to be added DTSX demos, make sure you subscribe up at the $5 level and become a patron today. All right, enough gilding the lily. Let's get on up there and check out the RHEL T9X. RHEL deserves a big shout out and thank you for sending these subwoofers in for me to review. Now I haven't checked out anything in this range of their subwoofers, so I'm pretty stoked to check them out. At the very beginning, we are greeted with a couple of cables, one being the IEC power cable and the other being a high level Nutrix speak on cable, which is super long. Now when opening the box right side up, I see the feet of the subwoofer, so they did a good job here. So if the arrow is pointing up, you're gonna get the feet, which is actually what we want. So if I lay this down on the side and kind of open things up, you'll notice the downward firing 10 inch radiator and the rel logo. Getting this guy out, I can tell you right now, this glossy black finish is gorgeous and I believe it comes in a gloss white as well. The T9X retails for $14.99. On the front, we have a 10 inch fiber alloy, 254 millimeter long throw active woofer, mated to a 300 watt RMS class AB amplifier, which is why there's a massive heat sink on the back at the top. We have what looks to be an RS-232 port, phase switch, as far as the I.O. and knobs are concerned, on the left side, we have the high and low level inputs and level, meaning this high low level knob corresponds with the low level input RCA right below it and the high level speak on input below that. So if you're going to connect via low level or high level, you're going to use this level knob. Moving on to the right, we have a crossover knob and below that a level knob for the point one or LFE channel and below that the RCA LFE input. Now, if you're going to connect via LFE input, you are going to use the level knob right above it for that specific purpose. Moving down, we have a status LED, power switch and power port. And of course, you can't miss the big silver heatsink on the back of the T9X. All right, so Rel sent me these 10 inch subwoofers and I would probably put them here in this studio and I'll run my 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos setup. Now, of course, I've never um, actually used a speak on uh, connector for high level inputs. So uh, in the coming weeks, I will make a video on which I prefer the high level or just going with the standard LFE RCA input for these subwoofers. So yeah, I haven't listened to these things. I, I barely just got them connected. I got to rerun Odyssey and do all kinds of other stuff in this room before I give my evaluation or see what is going on with them. I'll say this for right now, like it is one nice looking sub. The gloss black looks great. And it's actually pretty, It's I guess it's short and wide, maybe short and stout. Here is my handle, here's my spout. Uh, kidding, kidding. Anyway, 
It's a nice looking subwoofer. It doesn't take up much room. And if that's something that you're looking for, definitely uh, put the T9X on your short list. Again, I will be using them here in this room, which is around 1120 cubic feet and where I've used three 10 inch subwoofers before, another different pair of 10 inch rails. And these ones, I'm interested to hear what the you know um, 10 inch passive radiator is going to add to the situation because when I push on the main driver, then you know it's got this push pull thing going on. So it is a sealed cabinet for sure. And they do want to go on about this like uh, full range center. So I will set that up here in this room uh, because the little speakers I have here, well, you know, they're not the greatest. So that'll definitely uh, benefit from a little added base. So I will check all this stuff out for my review video. Again, this is just an overview. I have no idea how these things sound, but I just wanted to let you guys know there's a new kid on the block and its name is T9X. So make sure to check out rel a link down in the description and of course you know uh that's pretty much it <laughs> uh, i'll see you guys in the next one peace